Hey everybody, I am excited to be participating in this Pumpkin Palooza 2018 hosted by Auntie Cuckoo. Thank you again, Val, for hosting this. This was so much fun. I made these pumpkins and I have a video on them already, but this worked perfectly for this Pumpkin Palooza collab. So, what I'm going to do is I will insert how I made these, but just let me show you right now. This was a takeoff from what I got from Hobby Lobby, and I knew that it could be so easy to make, which it was, and it virtually costs you nothing because it's made of corrugated uh, cardboard that I had from the Dollar Tree, which was between each of my plates that I got for fall, the sunflowers. And over here, this was made from paper towel rolls cut. So, I will get started and post how I did these. Again, thank you, Auntie Cuckoo. I cannot wait to see what everyone else has done for their pumpkin palooza. This was a lot of fun and a fun way to kick off fall. So, guys, sit back. I hope you enjoy. And remember, the world's a better place because you're in it. Don't ever, ever forget that. Talk to you soon, guys. Hi, everyone. All right, I wanted to show you what I'm doing. I bought this at Hobby Lobby, and I knew right away it would be so easy to replicate by just getting some uh, paper towel rolls and cutting them in different heights, which you can see. You can see here I cut some toppers for them from a cereal box so they would be closed just like you see over here in the model and I just put some hot glue around those and I wasn't too worried about getting every little bit of it glued just enough to where it would stay adhered okay so now what I'm doing is I'm just painting the uh, little rolls a uh, pumpkin color and then I'm thinking I'm going to go ahead and antique them a certain amount to give it a little bit more of uh, dimension and I'll do it right there in the crevices and I think that will bring out it and dimensionalize it somewhat. The pink that I got I thought matched pretty well. It was a little bit lighter but once that uh, antiquing gets on there, I think it's going to look really well. It is very easy to replicate this particular pumpkin. Very easy, very inexpensive. I was very pleased with the way it was turning out. So what I did is I just took a piece of a brown paper bag and I thought that the materials would look pretty good together. Then what I wanted to use is some wire and just wrap around a pencil so it had those squiggly little, oh I don't know what you call them that is on the pumpkins, but I thought that it would look cute as well on these. So I am going to add some of that as well. Now I did get some corrugated cardboard and this is from some plates I got from the Dollar Tree actually. You know how they put them in between plates when you buy them and they're in the box a lot of times and like I say it'll be in between the plates or around the cups? Well I knew when I got this I would use it for something. I didn't know it was going to be this in particular but it worked out perfect. So all you do is you just roll up the size that you want and I wanted a as large as I could get um, in those. Now what I started to do with the paper bag is roll it up for the stem and uh, the leaves and the stem would be out of the same paper bag. Now what I started to do is I just crumpled up the bag because the bag was kind of thick and the more you do like that and where you wad it up it gets softer. The pulp of it gets softer and it's easier to work with. So now I'm just rolling it up and it's much easier and much more pliable to work with. So I want to see exactly how I'm going to want it. If I'm going to want to, you know, make it a crick 
in the uh, stem or put it straight up. Now I want to see how it's going to fit inside the hole and uh, I'm sure this is going to be hot glued because if not it's going to fall through the holes a little bit too big. I could have made it thicker but I chose not to. So I'm just going to go ahead. And so now I have some leaves that I just took off some sunflowers, those burlap sunflowers, and I'm going to use it for a pattern. When you get leaves like this and you know you only have a few and you just want that pattern, make another pattern out of like a paper bag or whatever the case may be, but so you have it so you'll be able to make leaves for other things because I'm sure other things are going to come up that you might want leaves with in the future. So I'm going to go ahead and just trace around and um, use these for my leaves for my pumpkins. All right, so now we have our leaves cut out and I am going to go ahead and put them onto our pumpkin that we just made. Cutting out the last of the leaves. So what I want to do here is just uh, glue a wire onto the leaf so I could form it a little bit before I started painting them. Here I'm just using, um, a, a, I think it's sage, the color, the green sage. And now that I have sandwiched the wire in between the leaves, it'll be easy for me to um, shape them a little bit better. So I'll just go ahead and do the leaves this color and then I'm going to put a little bit of antiquing on them as well. I think that'll look really good. Here while the paint is wet I'm just trying to fold them and mold them a little bit into the shape that I like. So now that I have the leaves painted for the first one I got the um, corrugated cardboard together and I made these a little bit taller because I wanted there to be different heights in the three of these. So I'm just gluing the uh, middle part down now to put together with the first making sure that they are the same height and kind of squeezing that glue together to make sure I get a good hold. So I will do that with the next two and then we will move on from there. So now our four pieces are put together. I am painting those and we are going to start antiquing. So now you can see all are painted and the leaves are painted. Now I'm going to use my antiquing medium and I antiqued the pumpkins and I'm going to antique now the stem for the large corrugated pumpkin and I'm going to make that one just brown. The other one I made kind of a green and then I'm going to antique some of these leaves that will go on this tall pumpkin as well. So when I'm done with that we'll go on to the next step. Alright so everything is done glued in leaves, stem, curly cues. I think these turned out so cute so there are the paper towel rolls and you can see that I antiqued them and glued the stem in with the leaves and the curly cues. I think those turned out really, really cute. And here's the corrugated. The corrugated is my favorite. The corrugated I like better than even the one from Hobby Lobby, to be honest with you. So I hope that you will think about making these. It will cost you virtually nothing. And I think it will add a lot to your pumpkin palooza. So thank you again, Val, for hosting this. This was a lot of fun. Guys, I hope you try it. I wish you a wonderful, wonderful day. And remember, the world's a better place because you're in it. Don't ever forget that. Talk to you soon, guys. Bye.